What's up, what's up, what's happening, Facebook? We are live, man. You know what it is. Today is Thursday. Uh, it's your boy Randy, man. We're just checking in. Um, should they be in my life? That's the question we're asking today. Should they be in my life, man? We're going to pop it off. As soon as you come into the room, let me know where you're watching from, and we'll get into this, man, and make this happen. As you know how I like to do, I like to treat my replays the same way I treat my lives. I just love to dive, and that's just what that is. What's going on, Vince? Appreciate you for checking in. What's happening, Joey? Appreciate you for checking in, big dog. Uh, we're going to talk about should they be in my life, man? Should they be in my life? Today I'm answering a question from the inbox. So we're going to wait and see if we can get a few people to jump in. Um, answering a question from my inbox today, which that's every Thursday. So if anybody ever has any questions, you chunk them in my inbox. I try my best to get the best question answered. Uh, this question actually was a question that's been popping up in my inbox over and over. And I'm not going to lie, I've been avoiding it. I like to try to stay out of people's relationships. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to wait and see if we can get this number to jump a little bit before I start. Uh, 10 second countdown on it. Hope everybody's been having a wonderful day, man. It's Thursday. You're almost there. It's a Friday to some people's uh, so-called victory, uh, the celebration weekend. Uh, they celebrate um, their accomplishments of the week. Okay, got four seconds rolling, so we're going to get ready to get into this, man, because I hate to procrastinate or wait, to procrastinate or wait, so let's just dive right into it. Um, when dealing with, trying to figure out with someone, like I said, this question was posed to me, um, this person, not to mention any names, were asking, how do they know whether someone should be in their life? How do they know if someone uh, is in their life, that should they be in their life? Like, how, how can they figure this out? Is there a test? Is there a test I can do to figure out? And I didn't really want to answer this question because I was like, I don't want to dig into one's, anyone's relationships. But I, as I started to think on it, I started to really understand that um, it's kind of the same as a regular friendship. It's kind of the same as anybody in your life. So even if within your love life, there's a little, there's a few tweaks that are, that are different, but that kind of flow off of the same guidelines if you really start to break it down. Like start with values. Like what are the values of this person that you are allowing in your space, in your life? Um, are they in the same lane as you? Are they traveling in the same frequency? Some people will be uh, just pretending for a while to be what you want or what you need and then they change over a course of time. Is that the type of person that you're dealing with? This is what you need to figure out. So you need to start questioning the values, paying attention to these people that are in your life. Um, uh, is, there, is there a strong sense of reciprocity? Are you guys both, is it a give and take relationship? Or are you giving and they're taking, taking, taking from you and you're just giving? Um, it, is there reciprocity there in the relationship? That has very important. If you're on the receiving, if, if you're always on the giving end and they're always on the receiving end, then that's the sign right there that something's up. I mean, if you're not questioning the relationship at that point, you're always giving and you're never receiving. And I know they always try, they always say you should give. No, it should be 50 50. It should be a push pull, not a pull pull relationship where you're both pulling at something. You're always giving and they're always, they're always taking. Um, it should be 50-50 both ways, you know, um, and that, that's real. And I'm coming from both sides of this um, argument, to be honest. I was the one that was always taken at one point, and I was the one that was always given at one point. So um, I can understand uh, the selfishness, and I can also understand the neglect. Uh, so definitely you want to make sure that you are not always on the, on the giving end, because if that's the case, then that's a, that's a sign of abuse. You know, a lot of people think that it has to get crazy. It has to be physical. It has, there are so many different ways, so many different uh, cases of abuse and relationship that a lot of people just overlook. So you definitely want to pay attention to that. What, what end of the stick are you on? Um, uh, if it ever feels one-sided, and I mean one-sided in any department, then you need to raise those questions. If it's ever one-sided, I don't care which department, if it's the sex department, if it's the uh, financial department, whatever it may be, if it's feeling one-sided to you, you need to sit that person down and have a conversation because it's your life, and every second, every moment of your life should not be wasted on anyone or anything. It should always have purpose. I know a lot of people say, man, it's life, you should have fun. You're right, you are supposed to have fun. But my thing is this, don't have any, let anything corrupt the fun that you're having. So make sure that um, if there's any, I'm telling you, if it's one-sided in any department of your relationship, man, it's going to start taking over and taking over and taking over. It's like that, it's like that uh, pitcher of water you, um, that has the Kool-Aid in it. The only way to clear it out is to keep pouring more clear water, more clear water in it. Well, this is the reverse effect of that. This is adding the Kool-Aid. It's just going to get more and more and more polluted in a relationship if you allow this to happen in the beginning. So you have to take that into consideration uh, when, that's, when that's happening. You have to ask yourself also, can you embrace your true identity with this person? Can you be yourself with this person? Is this person, are you, can you tell them everything, your darkest secrets? 
You know, that's that's one thing about being a celebrity that kills me is like they can never really let go with their with their uh, partners. They can never really let go with their mates because of the fact that if something happens, man, you it's it's out there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like your darkest secrets. Can you tell your darkest secrets to to your uh, significant other? You should be able to do that. You should be able to actually feel comfortable doing that. Um, or are you the one that has to mask your character all the time? Do you have to tuck your character away for this person? Uh, always hiding. Why are you hiding from someone that you, you, you look to spend the rest of your life with? Uh, never lose yourself in another person. That's true, Felicia. Never, ever lose yourself in another person. You should actually be recognized. You should be the most recognized person. It should be equal, but you should be recognized. You know, me, me especially, I like to say the women should be, because I've, I've come to find the backbone, the role that women play in the relationship and how powerful it is. So definitely the women should be recognized, man. Men, we take a lot on our shoulders and that's what we, as men, I feel that that's what we are supposed to do. And I know a lot of people look at it as women are capable of doing, well, I'm still a man from back in the day where I feel like, um, yeah, you're supposed to step up and handle that business. Um, are you, are they doing what it takes to get your attention? Are they doing what it takes to get your attention? Whoever your partner is, your significant other, they should be doing whatever it takes, with every chance that they get to get your attention, like they did when they first got involved with you. And they, are, they, they did everything, went out of the way, uh, drove past your house, um, they showed up at your job, uh, flowers. Um, I, I, hey, I was guilty of it. You know, I did it. Did all the things right in the first week. And then after that, I just fall off. You know, I got to do what I need to do to sew it in, and I'm good now. You know, so <laughs> I did that. So I'm a man from that side of the field saying that, hey, we are, my type that I was is out there, man. So that old me is somewhere out there. Beware. Um, he's crazy. But uh, no, I'm just, I'm just playing. But no, he, he really is. There are, there are people out there like that, man. They are one way in the beginning of the week just to get what they want. And then... You know, I told y'all I'd be an open book, so I'm giving you, a lot of you guys know me, so it's like, I'm, I'm really giving you an open book here today with me. Um, are they proud of you? Is your significant other proud of you? Are they proud of you? Do they tuck you away? Do they hide you? Or do they actually bring you out? Do they want to show you off? Are you the trophy? You should be the trophy of their life. You know, why are you there in their, li in their lives um, if they never take you anywhere? They never show you to anyone. Never show you to anyone. You're always tucked away. Do y'all even vibe? When you're around each other, do you feel like you guys have that vibe? Like that person knows what you're thinking. I'm trying, I mean, that's when you can really tell if that's the one for you. You thinking you're on the same frequency and everything is just popping and going off. And you're like, I can't believe, babe, we're just, oh, you, we just so in sync. You know, all of that, that old, that, <laughs> that. Um, are they learning you? Are they willing to learn you? Is your partner willing to learn you? know everything about you. Do they know your curves in the dark? That's important. Can he, can he reach over without putting your eye out when the light's out? Or, or does he reach over and, and got a finger up your nose, doesn't know the contour of your face? Is he willing to learn your habits? Um, you know, is he, is he willing to know that he got, has to keep an extra sheet because you're going to snatch the whole sheet? You know, is he willing to learn all of that about you and, and actually love all of that about you? Or is she willing to learn that about you and love all of that about you? It's important, you know? She knows that, you're, that you have a hard time getting up in the morning. Does she already have, you know, uh, coffee going? Or does she always already have your, uh, your limitless going? Or whatever you, whatever you do in the morning. Um, that's, man, that's how you know if that, person is supposed to, if, if that person is supposed to be in your life. Do they cheer for you? Do they cheer for you or are they competing with you? That's the question. Do they cheer for you or are they competing with you? You know, you have these relationships where you come home, you tell them, oh, I just got a raise. And then they can't wait for you to shut up so they can tell you that they still make more than you. You know, it's like, it's like, damn, you know, can I be, can I get a steak? You know, so it's like, that's, that's real. Are they cheering for you? Or are they competing with you? And I know you, uh, I've had this relationship time and time again, where it's always competition. It's like, damn, why, why are we together? It's like a uh, like the Olympics up in here. I can't even I can't even get an edge. I can't even can we celebrate me today? You know, so it's you should be celebrated also. So make sure that um, that is happening in your relationship. Uh, when you and your partner are on the same mission, man. When you and your partner are on the same mission, man, the momentum cannot be stopped. It cannot be stopped because they're always wanting to make sure that you, they don't want to let you down and you feel the same way. So even on your off days, they should be there to pick you up. Even if they got to take on some of that negative energy that you put out, they're actually there to be able to re, uh, recycle that energy and give you something positive to move on with. Um, 
you know, and I, I know a lot of my a lot of my people that check into my lives are a lot of you are on uh, a change in diet or a change in life, you know. So that's another thing. Like a, a lot of you, I heard screaming, "You're going vegan!" Is your man going vegan? Is your girl going vegan? Because you know what vegan means. Um, if they if they're sitting down in front of you eating bacon and eggs, how are you gonna feel about that? So if that goes back to compatibility and working on the same frequency, like are you guys gonna be able to? Um, be able to work that thing out, you know. Um, do they have? Hey, and on top of that, though, man, don't never. We're not supposed to be kept down in any moment, man. We're supposed to stay. Supposed to be able to stay on the move. You're on a journey in life, so people are supposed to move with you, you know. So never should you ever be chained down to anyone or anything. That person should be able to move with you. Should be able to help you shape your ideas and grow those ideas. So that's very important. So make sure that they're not trying to chain you down and keep you stuck in a position. They should always want to move forward. And and a way to find out if that person is serious about you, you and that, you and them being successful in life, ask them what are what are your plans for us. Everybody has a, a fairy tale plan for their relationship. What are your plans for us? Like what do you what do you see? us doing like do we have this do we have a house on the beach i don't care if it's not reachable if it's not attainable uh it's it still should be there for someone who cares and loves you they have a, a life that they sought to live with you so ask them those questions you know they should they should actually want to discuss this with you and want to talk to you about this they actually should want to uh, discuss this and talk to you about uh, talk talk to you about this so um you know it that's those are major tips, man. I, I Like I said, I didn't want to really get into it, but it kind of really goes into just regular friends. Are they willing to shed their ego is a, is a major one. Are they really willing to shed their ego to um, actually build something with you? You know, all of these things are important when having somebody come in to share your energy because we recycle energy. Uh, we feed off of each other. Everyone needs each other's energy. So you have to make sure that it's, it's very important. And um, I'm glad that I had the chance to actually face this question with you guys. It's been in my inbox and I'm glad I had the opportunity to go ahead and face it because it's something that people actually are wanting to know. They want to know, like, am, am I in the right relationship? You don't have to feel like because you were with somebody for so long, for seven to ten years, that um, you're supposed to stay with them now because you owe them their life back. They chose to be with you for that long. They chose, they chose you too. So why should you suffer for a decision that they made? Remember that. So if you're not happy, it's not happy. It's not a happy situation. So... Make sure you're checking your, your balances and you're dotting your I's and crossing your T's and your situation. And man, that's all I really got for you on that. I mean, uh, uh, drop some questions in my inbox. Um, I'm willing to answer anything. I'm willing to cover anything. I'm not afraid of any topic. We'll get on it, man, to make it happen. I love to be able to feed you guys this live. So uh, make sure you stay happy, stay healthy, and stay humble. Hopeful nutrition is the way. And I'll be right back with you guys tomorrow for Friday's Fresh. Let's get it. All right, peace.